if you have pain discomfort in the feet especially when you wake up in the morning or when you have to stand for a long period of time if it's hard for you to walk long distance because of the pain and discomfort in your feet or after running you feel this discomfort then in this video i'll share with you two exercises and two massages try them out maybe they will be helpful for you i have given these recommendations to many of my patients and many of them have got good results that's why i'm sharing it with you also maybe will be helpful for you also hi my name is dr vivek joshi and welcome to my youtube channel so let's move towards the first exercise very simple exercise what you have to do is you have to stand on one leg one leg will be folded the folded leg knee should be in the row with the straight leg knee it should not be in front it should not be very back from the another knee now after standing on one leg you have to turn to one side as you can see in the video and that side should be the side of the leg in which you are standing for example if you are standing on right leg you have to turn right if you are standing on left leg then you have to turn left so the leg on which you are standing you have to turn on that side now turn and stay over there for 5 seconds then come back always do this exercise near to a wall because in starting maybe you will lose your balance so to be safe it's better to do near to a wall so that you can avoid the accident so just try this exercise and you will feel that how good this exercise is working to activate these muscles over here just by doing it 5 times you are going to feel yes this exercise is effective you can do it for 10 to 15 times as per your comfort do it on both the legs to have a symmetry now let's move towards the second exercise for this you have to sit on your knees not on your knees actually you have to sit on your toes sit on your toes again near to a wall to avoid the accident and now you have to roll front towards backwards front back front back like this you can roll what this is going to do is it's going to stretch the fascia the plantar fasciitis muscle that's going in your soul and many times this plantar fasciitis is the cause of the pain and discomfort in our soul so this is a stretch of this plantar fasciitis but if you feel very comfort while rolling then you can just stretch your hands outside and then try to roll this can add extra stretch to your plantar fasciitis you can play you can test different different positions and see how you are getting maximum stretch get that maximum stretch roll for about 15 20 times this is simple but effective now let's move towards the third and that's the massage and for this we need a spoon a simple spoon can do magic just sit on a table or a stool and take the leg in which you have discomfort or pain and press it on your feet how much pressure to apply not a lot it should be the pressure like whenever you go for a massage that much as pressure you have to apply and now move this spoon handle from your heels towards the toe it should be only one directional movement not two directional movement you will be moving just in one direction move it and do a good massage you can move this 10 to 20 times as you are comfortable do it in all the parts and all the fingers but while doing this massage you have to be cautious not to do it on the big toe bone because it will be painful there is big bone over there don't do above it all other area you are free to do what i have seen in my practice is it's very comfortable to use the mouth part of the spoon not the handle i generally use that one because it gives deep massage and it's very easy to operate all over the feet and i can go deep in the muscles in the feet and this is more effective so you can try both the ways and see whichever suits good for you my preference is always the mouth part of the spoon so you can also give it a try do it on the upper part also and the lower part also do a full massage especially towards the toe and the toe bed in this area do a good massage and this simple massage very simple massage will be very very effective you might be thinking how the simple massage can be helpful just give it a try and you will understand the power of the spoon now let's move towards the fourth and that's again a massage in this you have to press on your feet you have to use your thumb and you have to press in your feet 
you have to press in different parts of your feet. The thing that you have to remember is to change your thumbs while doing this massage because if you'll be just pressing with one thumb, it's going to be hard. You will be tired. You can do damage to your thumb. So don't do this. Keep one thumb down and use another thumb to support it and then press and keep on interchanging the thumbs. Your aim is to find the most painful point in the sole of your feet as you'll find this most painful point you have to focus more over there you have to spend more time in that particular point because maybe that's the point where you have maximum spasm or discomfort it will be very hard painful first few days but if you will do it continuously within few days you will feel that that particular part is not painful and you are not having so much discomfort or pain in the sole of your feet so do this massage all over your feet trying to find the most painful point that's it these are the four simple ways but if you are having these problems you should check your vitamin d3 levels your blood sugar levels insulin levels vitamin b12 iron ferritin hemoglobin in your body because many times these are the causes so you have to fix the internal problems also and plus these things the things that i have shared you in this video will be helpful thank you for giving your precious time and attention i really appreciate it and i'm thankful to you see you in next video with a big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy